What's up, y'all? OmniGamer back here, bringing you episode 20 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. On last episode, we basically did a whole lot of side questing, got ourselves a few new pieces of heart, as well as uh, cleared the storm out of the Dark World Swamp. In this episode, we're going to go through one of my most hated dungeons, uh, Misery Mire, which is the Six Crystal Dungeon. Not a big fan of this dungeon, as uh, I'll probably complain about more on in the episode. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing started, and hopefully get it over with this episode. So let's uh let's tackle this bitch, shall we? So here is Misery Mire. Um kind of ironic how the second palace is the swamp palace, and this is not the swamp palace. Even though this is the one that's in the swamp, but oh well. I'm not worried about it. What I am worried about is this dungeon, because this one always gives me some kind of crap in some way, shape or form. So there's a lot of like these wizard things are kind of a pain in the ass. This is their first appearance, obviously. Shit. They're not easy to get the... Like, if it's the first room, you have these laser things. Uh, just stuff being shot at you from all angles. The uh, object of this first room is to eliminate all the enemies. Ah, shit. Got me. There's another one down. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. I don't use the map. And these wizard things start getting harder, because there's uh, a couple of them in the fusion that actually uh, move around. At least I think so, that move around depending on where you're going, so. Uh, this is kind of the main, uh, main room, this stupid little thing. And the reason I'm not a big fan of Misery Mire is because... I'm just not a big fan of it. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's a expertly designed dungeon, it really is. Because it is, it is kind of challenging. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff you gotta do, it is really easy to get lost. So if I do that, I do apologize. Because there's a lot of, like, dead ends and stuff like that, there's a lot of things that make you think it's important, but there's a lot of things that aren't in the same way. I mean, really well-designed dungeon. It is actually, as far as creative-wise, this is also one of my favorites, just because, you know, just because of the way it's designed. Uh, the area leading up to the boss room, like, the last little set of rooms before the boss room is really cool, too. This is what I'm saying, I'm already getting turned around. So, and I know that door you can't open, there's a switch in another room that opens up that room. It's, uh, it's, ah, uh, it's dungeon. I just started, and I'm already getting irritated. Ah, stupid fire stick. Alright. Yeah, they definitely put all the stops in. I don't even think Turtle Rock Dungeon is this hard. Turtle Rock Dungeon is a difficult dungeon. Like, it's not so much for me anymore, but, like, it used to be a pain in the ass, and it still can be. I don't know, if you've played it, you know what I'm talking about then, but, I mean... You have torches that shoot fireballs at you. What's up with that? I don't know, I'm not even gonna fuck with that though. And if I remember correctly, you don't need to use this key on that door. So I'm not gonna go through there at the moment. I, I think that's an exit door, if I remember correctly. And that just goes somewhere that is. I, I think it just ends up being a waste of key. Well, not really a waste of key, because you can get another one easy. But. I'm pretty sure, like, I'd rather save the key for something a little bit more important. So we're gonna kill these guys, we're gonna go back around the other way. These little dudes dropping bombs everywhere. I don't appreciate dropping bombs everywhere. Alrighty. Push the side rooms. Yeah, so we're gonna go put the seats up here. This leads to something, I think it's another key. Yeah, it is another key, okay. So, through that middle room, as you see, we need the big key before we can press the, press on that one. This is really cool. You can see the other side of a big key door. It's just a little key door. So, makes you wonder what would happen if you got on that other side, huh? You know, maybe somebody with a no-clip uh, emulator should try that out and let me know what happens. I might do that in a uh, extras video one of these times. Um, oh! Uh, another thing I do want to do, I don't know if this is going to happen or not, but on the... Because uh, i got to find my Game Boy player. But uh, as a bonus, I'm not going to do it as part of this, uh, part of this Let's Play. I'll probably oh, why am I back in here? Oh, I'm stupid. You know, fuck it. Bombos time! But no, um... In the future, uh, what I'm going to end up doing is if I find my Game Boy version of, uh... A Link to the Past, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust out my old Game Boy, my old Game Boy player. And I'm going to record the Palace of the Four Sword, too. Because I love the Palace of the Four Sword. It's a fun dungeon to play. 
Uh, unfortunately, it is exclusive to the Game Boy Advance, uh, to the Game Boy Advance version of the game, obviously, because, you know, the multiplayer Zelda game Four Swords Adventures is linked onto that, so... Obviously that would be, and that's just what we're doing. Well, obviously it's gonna be exclusive to that as a little bonus, but, um... Dude, I need to find a tripper, what the fuck? But, um... I do want to show off that dungeon sometimes, so that'll be something to do in the future. Uh, if I get the urge to play through uh, Link to the Past again and to unlock that dungeon. So... Let me try... I'm gonna get hit again, oh well. I'm trying to go up the... I'm... <sighs> freaking lost. That's right, I... No, 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 I know, I, I know what I can do now. I know what I can do now. That's right. Ah, fucking Tripper. Still fucking fucking me over. Yeah, I'm not gonna get through this episode, get through this duck this episode, because I'm gonna get lost. And I might, I might die again, which will make me sad. That one death still just hurts me. To this day. I just wanna go through here. Down here. And I really wanna go up here. There we go, I think this is it. There we go, okay, so now we're gonna get back my magic cape. Since it's infinitely useful when walking over spikes. There we go, here's a here's a new room. There we go. Shit. Skeletons throw bones at you! And a damn bunny thing! No! I need a tripper again, really? Really? Oh my god. Where is it? This thing's gonna drive me crazy. I gotta find that stupid. Go away. I know it's in some kind of easy spot, too. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys are watching this going like, It's over there! Dumbass! Ha! There we go! Fucking key door! Thank you! Oh, that's what- Ah, oh, it was right there in front of me. That's always how it works. These skeletons. I'm really glad I have the red sword for this, or else these guys would be in the ass. There's a key in this room, too. There it is. And I don't want to go down there. I want to go through here. Light the more torch rooms. Okay, I've got the tiles. Yeah, I thought the tiles were gonna attack me. No! Go away! Boom, baby! Compass! Nah, I don't wanna go through there yet. I wanna go down. I wanna go south. And go away. Yeah, that door will actually stay open as long as all four trippers or all four uh, torches are lit. Which is really kind of cool. I mean, this dungeon is actually the mo the dungeon that makes the most use of the light before torches, and it's pretty essential for most parts of the uh, most parts of it. So there's actually a part coming up ahead where you have to do it. Yeah, this is it right here. Where you actually have to light four torches across two different rooms, and it gets a little difficult because while you're trying to do it, you're also got to deal with these mumbos. And yeah. So the trick is push all the blocks first. Um, Way. And then what that's gonna do is I'm gonna equip my lantern because I don't need the fire rocks. I gotta stand right next to them anyway. But there's this room right here. Set fire to the four torches. Duh. Done it before. So, but um, yeah. Basically, what that's gonna do is you're gonna have to basically just go over that grating. So, I'm gonna light one, and we're gonna light two, and we're gonna light three, and we're gonna light four. And then as you can hear, the wall on the other side of the wall is moving. Unfortunately, we can't see it this time, but it's okay, because Link is still being a badass, not shaking at all in the middle of it, not shaking at all in the middle of all this. And as the torches go out, the wall stops moving. Wow, I actually timed that right, cool. So, then it's, yeah, there's nothing going up there. I think you gotta deal with wizards now, yeah, it's not a big deal though. So we're gonna fall down this hole, and this hole takes us to the big key! Which is amazing, because now we can open up the big treasure chest as things go in Legend of Zelda Link of the Past. Relatively simple dungeon pattern. We go through this teleporter. Which, hey, takes us to this room. And then we open up this key door, which takes us to this teleporter, which, woo! Takes us to this room all the way in here. But we're not going to go that way yet. We don't want to go that way yet. We can't go that way yet. We want to, just not yet. So we're going to use the magic mirror, go back to the start of the dungeon. 
I don't want to have to fight my way all the way back, because that's just a hassle. It has to happen. These stupid little gooper things are no match for my hookshot of death. And back down to the first basement. Kill you, kill you. Pull out my bombos. Actually, no, I'm gonna go ether on these mofos. I'm not screwing around. I'm gonna bring the polar winds down. Ow! Fucking A. Come forth, ether strike! Yeah, and I freeze you, stupid little tentacle thing. Die! Smash you with my magic mallet. This alliteration is king. So. That's pretty cool. Uh, in case you missed it the first time, these eyeballs in the next room actually shoot lasers at you. They'll be more prominent in Toro Rock Dungeon, but I like this part because it just goes. Boo, 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 boo. And we achieved the second cane, the cane of Somaria. It will be very helpful if you make proper use of it. What a mysterious cane. And I like this cane, because it makes a block. And you can pick up this block, you can throw this block, you can explode this block. And it makes things extremely useful. Why do I still not have Think Tripped? Oh, that's right, because I reset it. See, I know I hit that. But it's okay, it's not really that important anymore. Because we got our cane, which means we can progress pretty... We should be able to uh, progress through the end of the dungeon now, if I'm smart enough to figure out how to do it. That's a big if. That's a big if. So, we don't need to go through there, because that was where the key was. And it was... I know where it was, I'm going the wrong way again. I have to go all the way from around, aren't I? Yep. Damn it. Screw it. Bomb the bomb, guys. Bombo's medallion strike! Ignite all three of you. Because I don't want to go around chasing you down. And Bombo's just makes... Burning everything alive just makes it that much easier. Uh, that one's for you, Trigir. That one is for you. Oh, yeah. Run like bitch! I'm going the wrong way again. Because this dungeon hates me, and I suck at it. <laughs> a lot. Okay, so what we need to do is wait for the fire stick to go by, because I don't want to get fried. This, I think, is where I need to go. Is it up here? Uh, no, it's not up here. It's the other one. Is it the other one? I don't remember. Walking. This is it. Okay, yeah, I was going the right way. I know what I'm doing, damn it. Alrighty. Okay, so now we go through the big key door. And we're gonna come all the way over here, because I think there's, yeah, magic in there. Which is cool. You could always use me some magic. And we're gonna head down this stairwell into the dark abyss of this dungeon. And this is where the Cane of Samaria really comes in use, because you know those blocks that you have to push, uh, put a block on in order for the door to stay open, right? Well, if you don't have a block, just summon a block, push it on there. Good to go. And I'm down to four hearts, so I'm going to use life medicine. Alright, go back to the cane, we're going to lift this up, I think there's something under here that's going to kill me. Oh no, it's not. Hey, that makes me happy. For once, something's not out to get me! And uh, right here, uh, we're getting a little bit high up on time, so I think I'm going to uh, cut this episode right here. In the next episode, we are going to finish off Misery Mire, and then work our way towards Death Mountain for the finale of the game in Turtle Rock Dungeon and Ganon's, and, uh, Ganon's Tower. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you know, you're enjoying the series so far, be sure to uh, look me up on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, have a good one. See you next time.